Hi, in this video I want to show you how we made around 16 to 18 points using the PSR1 column in the Greyhound card software over 71 selections and increasing our stakes from 50 pence to £2.40 in that same time span. Stay tuned and let's get on with this video. Okay, hi, Malcolm here. Um, if you don't know me, I've been in this industry for 21 years making people or making software um, so that they can find ways to profit from the market. One of these pieces of software is the Greyhound card software, which we're looking at here. And in this particular case, we're looking at the place straight strike rate. Um, and um, we're looking at rank one. So this top one here. And what we're doing is we're every day we're just looking at the place market, looking at the favorite, and if it is ranked one, we will bet on it. Now we've done this in several ways over um, the last month, and one of the ways we're using the Grey Hall Spot, which is another one of my products, and um, to automatically bet on these selections because you can with this software you get. Uh, linking software that allows you to bet automatically using the Grey Allspot software, which is another piece of software. Um, but you can do this manually um, once you've got the selections. So um, the place strike rake I use is out of our own database, which has got about a million results now. Um, and we look at the past history of that um, runner, make up the place strike rate. And um, based on the actual run, um, the actual class, the actual distance and the actual course um so it's it's not on every that's all place play strike rate that's on all the, the selections this is particularly on a race that's similar to the one they're in today so um that's the criteria for it okay now i'll explain one other thing as well because um sorry that's a little bit out of the window but i'll explain one other thing as well this is uh, my target profit spreadsheet, which comes free with a number of my products. But if you just want the spreadsheet on their own, there will be a link in the description below. Um, but basically, the idea is we take um, our bank, we take a percentage of it. Um, so in this case, I'm showing as half a percent of your bank. Most people will probably do one percent or two percent, stuff like that. But I just I like I like to play it safe and show small stakes and things like that. Um, target percentage of 25 percent of your stake. So how that looks is that we we staked 50 pence, we won 25% of our stake, 13 pence, and we're going to compound 8% onto our stake the next day. So you can see that we've we've taken 8% of this figure here, which is one penny, and you can see it because of decimalization, uh, because of like more than two decimal places, it's still rounding up to one. So we're gradually only adding a penny at, the t at a time to our next stake. But gradually that builds up and then the um, because the stake gets bigger, the percentage gets bigger and it goes on and on and on and on. And if you've got the patience to do this, if you can find a method that makes you on average 25 percent a day um, and you can do this for a year or so. In fact, probably not even a year, but, you know, you can get into making reasonably good money per day or whatever. But it does take a while to build up. But that's the kind of thing I, I like to show. Um, of doing and it is only 25 percent of your stake it's not like we're trying to make a whole point or 10 times your stake or anything like that you know a good place selection or a, a strong winner that kind of thing we're gonna we're gonna make 25 percent somewhere um, and that's what i kind of followed in this method roughly okay so just so you know um, we got to about 71 um, targets and um, so our stake should have been around about two pound okay let's go to the results then OK, so this is the results sheet from the bot um, of what happened over the last month. OK, um, so we basically got the date, the time and course, the runner, the state we were using in there and the price that we got um, when we won. Um, so you can see this is a PL column where we won and where we lost. And if we go down, you can see the test ended on the 31st with 71 selections there because the first um, the first row is used up with um, the uh, headers, so it's only 71 selections. Um, we had a bit of a bad last day, funny enough, which wiped out a bit of profit, which was unfortunate. But overall, um, using starting with 50 pence, um, 
we made £18.81 over the day, um, over the month. Now, if we'd have done level stakes on the same selections, we would have made 16.56 points um, profit. And um, our return on investment on this column was 26.49. Took Sorry, if we took our average um, stake, £1.37, um, we'd have made um, £13.73. So if we'd have stuck to £1.37, that's how much we'd have made. Um, based on that £18.81 there. Um, so if we'd have aver averaged out that stake, that's how much we'd have actually earned. But a one-point stake, and that actually came out a little bit better. Um, and so that's how it kind of ended up. Now, if we look at the graph, because the graph's quite interesting, um, this is a stake increase. So I'm trying to increase the stake by 8% um, every day that we won. And we won on most days, actually. There wasn't... Um, let me just go back to this second... Let me go. Um, we won on most days. The, the last day was the only day we didn't really win on. We had a quite a rough day on the um, 13th um, where we went up and down, up and down, up and down. But we did eventually make some profit um, on that day. So basically the, the last day of the month was the worst day that we'd had it. Um, and, you know, that's what happened. But um, what I want to show you is we're, we're up to stakes £2.40. Now, we looked at our spreadsheet um, that we were looking at just now. It said about £2, so we're a little bit ahead. Um, but that could have just been me putting stakes up a little bit more than I needed to. Because we got, we I was working on the amount of profit we made every day, so we were obviously um, making a little bit more profit than 25%, um, well, 26%, um, according to that. We were close to it. And we had a strike rate of about 73%, by the way, um, on the daily selection. So let's look at those graphs again. And you can see that um, it kind of went up and down at the start anyway. Then we had a nice flyer, and then it's kind of gone backwards and forwards again. So a bit down. Now that's at stakes increase, at level stakes. It kind of, it did go up and down as well, but it kind of lifted itself up. And again, at the moment, it's, it's gone down again. But still got this profit so it'd be interesting to see what it does in another month but what I wanted to do also is look at um, another idea which is what when you win on the first race or lose on the first race so in other words you just do one selection per day and you either win or you lose and you take whatever hits you okay so um, if we look at the graphs down here you can see that it's actually not done too bad. It has had that last two days of um, losers, which isn't great. Um, but overall, it would have made about £13, um, about 40% return on investment. Um, at level stakes, it would have been £11.17 with about a 34% return on investment. So that's the figure we should really look, be looking at. So doing it... Um, yeah, one selection per day, finding the first selection of the day that has PSR1 as the favourite. And that's what you kind of end up with, um, with 34%. So overall, the test wasn't too bad. It came out in profit. Um, I actually do like this method. Um, I felt this method, when I got to the bigger stakes, which is great, there's no doubt about it, but um, I kind of felt like the stakes might have been increasing a bit too much. Um, and so maybe 8% is a little bit too high. Um, but it, it did work. But when you, we, we started to hit those losers, maybe the thing to do is drop down the stake when you when you start losing or something. I don't know. But um, at level stakes, it didn't seem to hurt quite so much. Yeah, we had a losing run the last 20-odd um, selections or whatever it was, 20, 30 selections. But we kind of made it up and then it was gone down again. So just have to see what the next few days brings. Although I won't be doing this one again. I'm going to concentrate on this one now. Um, I may try another one of staking or something, but I haven't decided yet, um, using just one point. But that's another test that I did last month and I'd, I'd do another video on that for, um, soon which was just trying to make one point per day um, which again didn't do too bad but again those losses can can really hurt when you start losing 
but I'll come to that in another video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I put links to all this stuff in the put a link to all this information in the description below so that you can go over because I wrote a kind of um, article about this as well. I haven't updated it with this latest stuff yet, but I will be doing that very shortly. So you'll see the link below. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you like the video, please give me a like, thumbs up and please join the channel and I will, um, when I launch other videos, you will find out about them. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.